good people how are you how have you been today i'm beginning my vlog in the car hmm? guys last week was my birthday and you know what guys there was no birthday at all eh? for the first time ever i didn't have no cake i didn't have no uh, much much everything but i went and uh, took some photos all was well and I, I'm grateful to God for the years that I have achieved. So, guys, I had so much financial commitments. Lakini nashukuru because I have been able to overcome some of the issues that were pressing me. And I'm here la. I'm here. Sijalala nja. So God is gracious. And sometimes, by the way, it's good to miss a birthday. You can enjoy yourself in so many other forms. So for me, I took time to self-reflect and do other stuff. So uh, I want to bring you into my day. I have some errands to run. Nataka kutembea nje kidogo. Nataka kuenda na nyinyi. So before I go back to the house. And then, yeah, we will see how the video unfolds. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're returning, oh, I love you so much. And thanks for sticking around. And uh, for the support, I really appreciate. Okay? So guys, what you're seeing here is a, a project that we have been doing for the past five years or so. And uh, it's almost complete now. Sorry for that. We are just in the final, final stages. It has been a long time coming and I'm grateful for having been part of this success story. This region is in Kwale County and uh, we, we have this, this is an institution that is coming up for, for maritime. I think in my previous videos I have shown you, you can also check my previous videos for this, uh, what this is about, and you can get to know more. It is a project that has been funded by the World Bank, and uh, I have been uh, participating as a project member, and the experience is, is worthwhile. So we have come to do an inspection with other team members, we have engineers, the architect and uh, many other people who are part of this project because it's uh, a million, um, a lot of money has been put in here. And we hope to get to the end of this one time and I'll show you the end result maybe. So we have finished from the site and we are headed back to to our region of work and I'm, I've passed by here at Marsh to pick my parcel. That was sent from home i have some food stuff that i had ordered because sometimes buying all the stuff here can be very very expensive so I, I want to pass by here and pick my luggage then i'll be heading shortly home to pick my son who is unwell to take him to to the hospital in fact i'll be passing by the school to pick him up the package is quite huge as you can see there so i need some help and uh, I'm just waiting for someone to help me to carry this, then I will load it into my car. So guys, I am headed to visit the hospital. Um, sorry for that music. My, my son is not feeling well, so I just want to have him checked. I want him to get some medication before I head home uh, where we shall be unboxing our our package from the milk land of milk and honey oh I hope you understand when I tell you land of milk and honey the land of kissy guys so let's go I hope I don't stay long at the hospital because uh, I'm really really tired it has been a very very long week for me and those of you who are working know understand what I mean by a busy week. Yeah, so let's go.
speedy and out of really looking for this crude, you see? Yeah, I have done this. I want my kids to enjoy some snack with chicken. Eh? There's that type of chicken that you just dip in the hot oil, the crispy one, the one they do at Ken Chick. So I'll be doing the chips for them. Plus that chicken is already boiling out in the jiko. That's what I'm doing about now. Come on, my fika nyumbani. I wish you bon appetit. For me, this is what I'm gonna prepare right about now. So let's do this before we move to the next thing. As the potatoes are cooking, um, I will be deep cleaning my freezer. I want just to rearrange all the stuff to be used first because it's very deep. Sometimes somebody is tempted to pick what is from above. So I'll just be interchanging the items, but still I'll need to wipe it before I rearrange. This is how dirty this place is. Sometimes there's spillage, so I'm going to clean it first. Look at that. That side I put grains. I have been batch cooking over some time now. This is what I have been storing. I want to rearrange this back, uh, back to the freezer. channel as you can see today i am in the kitchen i want to cook dinner with you all karibu sana to our youtube channel at home and farm with doti nawapenda as always we love you we love you all of us <laughs> i have a visitor here say hi to the people okay so we want to do some dinner with you guys we are cooking some chapatis and beans and some vegetables if you're new to our channel tell them to subscribe Subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well if you're returning. We clap for you as always and we encourage you to keep coming back to support our content. So let's do this together guys. Yes. So like I was saying, we are doing some chapati. Say hi to the people. And I will be showing you my recipe, what I mix, how I cook my softest chapatis. I know I've done this recipe before but I'm because we keep eating, sorry about that, <laughs> because we keep eating chapati, so I'll be giving you 
uh, new ideas each day. So don't get bored. This is our channel for homemaking videos and everything. All right, good people. Let's get to it. So for this stew, I'll be using my leaf onions and my tomatoes from uh, my kitchen garden and then I will also add capsicum. I didn't add any spices today, no ginger, no garlic, uh, we'll just have that for today. Then I will leave it to have some stew and then I will also let it boil so that it can be a bit thick as I cook the chapatis uh, shortly I'll be showing you how I knead so that I get that texture on the, the chapatis that I need they're the soft ones I'm adding a little bit of white flour and brown flour sugar salt and oil then I will add some warm water not very hot but warm water and then I will start kneading thoroughly you must knead very, very well if you want good chapatis.
I don't know about you, but uh, I love my chapatis not very thick nor heavy because I find them very tedious even to eat. After we finish uh, cooking here, which will not take me more than 10 minutes, we shall eat. For now, I will let you enjoy the rest of my vlogs. It's already uh, late in the evening, kindly. Um, let's uh, catch up in the next vlog when I'll be showing you uh, more content that you like. For now, I will bid you goodbye. And thanks so much for stopping by and for watching this video and for the support this far. Party, our last one, second last. I want to know what you want.